What's going on, Pro Guides family? It's your host, Sergeant Frost. And today, we are bringing you the only guide you will ever need for the brand new controller joining the Valorant roster, Harbor. Using a sort of ancient artifact, Harbor is able to bend water to his will in order to help his team. Harbor is unlike most controllers in Valorant, meaning he requires a specific understanding and playstyle so you can extract max value. If you're trying to print RR in the new act with Harbor, then make sure you watch the whole video. And also, download Valorant Stat Center, Aimlab's new top-tier tracker that gives you access to data and metrics that only pro players had in the past. Not only that, Stat Center even has revolutionary data that tracks your impact called Delta Damage. So if you want to have all the information you'll ever need to master the game, make sure to click the link in the description and download Valorant Stat Center by Aimlab today. Now let's jump into the video. Like the other controller agents in Valorant, Harbor's kit is geared towards covering angles for your team. High Tide, or his E ability, is a far-reaching wall of water, similar to Viper's wall in height and length. However, you are able to bend and curve the wall similar to how you can with Phoenix's. This ability is able to be sent through walls and objects, and is perfect for covering vast amounts of space for your team. Alt firing will cut the wall short, and enemies who try and pass through the wall are hit with a short-lasting slow, giving your teammates a bit more time to punish overheating duelists trying to make a play. At first glance, it may seem like this ability is straightforward, but the skill ceiling is actually pretty high. First off, this ability is on a 40 second cooldown, meaning you're able to cast this about 2 or even 3 times per round. Once the wall is placed, it stays up for almost 15 seconds, but the cooldown starts as soon as the wall is initialized, meaning that it's only about 25 seconds until you can use the wall again once it goes down. This is huge for setting up defaults on bigger maps or creating timings the enemy team needs to pay attention to. Breeze and Icebox are great examples of where this is difficult, since most team comps only run Viper as their only controller. Viper's wall is fantastic for taking this space, but it's extremely choreographed and is unable to be picked up once placed. Harbor's wall enables teams to set up elaborate fakes and take important space without committing their only long-range smoke. His addition to the game is going to change map metas and reveal plays that simply were never possible beforehand. Not to mention the lurking power it can give your teammates if you curve it through specific areas of the map. Harbor would most likely be played in the secondary controller role, since he doesn't have the precision smokes like Brim, Omen, or Astra. Instead, he falls into a more controller-initiator hybrid role since he can easily be played in a more fast-paced tempo comp. His Q ability, or Cove, is a smoke that must be thrown on the ground similar to Viper's orb. Once the orb hits the ground, it expands into a brimstone-sized orb smoke, which alone in itself is fantastic for covering angles for your team or holding choke positions. The unique aspect of this smoke is that enemies are unable to shoot through the sphere since it has a kind of armor around it. This ability is like none other for helping your team complete objectives like planting or defusing the spike. There is even potential to pair this ability with something like a sage wall to make spamming the bomb planter impossible with a single mag. Just be careful because Viper, KJ, and Brim Mollies will all go through this armor. Once the armor on the smoke has been depleted, the smoke will disappear soon after. Now, using this ability to defend spike diffusers and planters is a given. Another aspect that many people may overlook is using this in order to take or retake bomb sites. It's extremely powerful to have a utility that blocks bullet spam like a sage wall but is fast acting, and it can be thrown instead of placed and can be walked through. Some awesome use cases for this could be seen on a bomb site like A Site Ascent. Walking out of heaven can feel like you're gambling your life away. Way too often are you spammed out of the smoke or end up walking into way too many angles to peek at once. With Harbor's Orb, you can throw it down on Heaven and safely drop onto site without running the risk of being spammed. On the other side of the coin, if your team is trying to run a B-side execute, his orb can be used to safely get your team onto lane without being spammed from CT or Market. Everyone hates losing a team member to some unlucky spam from the enemies while walking onto site. Harbor's Cove is the fastest acting bullet absorbing utility which will be extremely valuable in limitless situations. Harbor doesn't always have to use this ability to help his team out on retakes or site takes too. This ability allows Harbor to play in locations many controllers would consider dangerous, since at the click of a button he has an impenetrable fortress he can use to maneuver or stall the enemy, and he can stall or bait for his team to buy himself time to use other abilities to block dangerous angles. It almost functions as a get out of jail free card since it takes so long to break. When this smoke is thrown, it needs to be broken by the enemy team to ensure you aren't getting any kind of lurk off through this smoke. You can use this information to make calls on where to rotate, or use it as a cue to flash your team out of the smoke. This ability is extremely interesting and has an incredible skill ceiling, so don't be afraid to think outside of the box to make those Harbor exclusive plays. Moving on to the Waterbender's C ability or Cascade, it's truly unlike any other smoke we have seen in Valorant. The first detail to note is how tall this smoke is compared to every other util like it. This attribute makes it ideal for blocking off elevated angles like rafters on Icebox or stairs on Breeze. However, the most important detail of this tsunami smoke is how it moves towards a targeted area. Valorant has yet to have a type of moving smoke. This gives Harbor to make more initiator-like plays with his team. Other smoke agents trying to place their util are effectively out of the fight for a short while while they do this. Harbor could be the first agent into sight following his fast-moving wall of water. 
Enemies who attempt to walk through this wall of water will be slowed, meaning that most enemies will try to avoid the wall flowing over them, because on the other side lies in wait a harbor and his team following the wall. You can use this wall to clear angles systematically with your team and is a decent space creator too. Enemies are forced to make a decision when they see the wall of water approaching them. Walk past the wall and fight the unknown on the other side, or back up and wait for the team so they can be effectively traded. This creates a massive amount of room for the team to take advantage of. An example of this could be if the defenders wanted to make an aggressive play mid on ascent with Harbor's wall. He could send the wall from the bench to block off the top of mid while his team fights tiles from arch and cat. If you were to make Omen smoke this angle, the smoke would take up a few seconds to go down while the wall is up and instantly providing your team with moving cover. The speed Harbor can bring to a team comp is scary and something the enemies need to respect. Rounding out Harbor's crazy unique kit is his equally crazy ultimate ability. Reckoning in essence turns whatever bombsite you want into an active danger zone. Enemies in this area are faced with a geyser spawning under their feet that is similar to an Astra stun. This stun can be avoided, but depending on how many enemies are in one location, it can be extremely difficult. Enemies who get caught up in the tide are stunned while a gold and purple plume of smoke are shown above their head and revealing their location. This works very much like Breach and Fade's ults for clearing a bomb site, except it's on a controller. The information Harbor's ultimate provides on the enemies is much more valuable than the stun itself. The best times for using his ultimate would be when you and your team are looking to take a bomb site or retake the bomb site. Now, the size of the ability is enormous and can be a bit misleading to how it's useful. Yes, it's perfect for clearing out large vast spaces, however, if you use the ultimate on smaller bomb sites where multiple enemies are close together, moving is almost impossible since the stuns will be overlapping on top of each other. Ascent B site is a fantastic example of where this ultimate can completely turn around for your team. If the opposing team is playing multiple people on the bomb site or back site, the stuns are going to compound on top of each other. Speaking of the compounding stuns, your teammates are not immune to these geysers. Although the situation is pretty rare for your teammates to be on top of an enemy, this can happen on A-Site Ascent for example. If enemies are standing in hell when you ult for the retake, the stun will hit your teammates up top. It's important for you to be aware of this fact so you can avoid stunning your teammates mid-retake. Harbor's abilities have me super hyped to play comp and watch pro matches to see what strategies are developed. It wouldn't be surprising to see him picked up on maps with wide areas that need to be smoked off like Breeze, Pearl, and Icebox. While his value on smaller maps could be surprising, especially to avoid highly spammed angles and clear cramped bomb sites with his ultimate, what do you guys think about Harbor? Do you believe his kit is OP, underpowered, or does it fit into the meta quite well? Feel free to let us know in the comment section down below. I just hope my solo queue teammates see this video before first timing him in ranked. There are many agents in Valorant that fit into what we call the hybrid agent category. Examples being Viper as a controller sentinel hybrid since she both blocks angles like a controller while she can defend bomb sites like a top-notch sentinel or Chamber who can be considered a Sentinel Duelist hybrid because of his ability to hold down areas of the map like a Sentinel with his trip and TPs, all while contesting neutral areas of the map with the aggression and safety of top-notch duelists. Harbor is the first controller initiator type of character we have seen in Valorant, so his general playstyle is sort of a gray area. Your first and foremost job is to make sure your team always has the most dangerous and hard-to-hold angles covered by your utility. If you do not incorporate aspects of a passive playstyle into your Harbor games, you're going to end up dead before your utility does all it needs to do for your squad. Remember, your main controller ability, your wall, recharges, so the more cast of this ability you can use, the more value you will get out of it round to round. The initiator aspect of Harbor is where you're really able to make the character shine, and you can truly create and execute strats that other teams simply can't do. After you establish a plan of attack around your high tide, you want to team up with your initiator player to get this fast-paced gameplay underway. Start with your signature ability to form the boundary of your attack. Use this to block the angles where the enemies are most likely to peek to catch your team off guard. Next, think of a route for your Cascade ability. This is fast moving and forces the enemy to either be passive or aggressive. Make sure you prepare for both. Pre-aim angles the wall is going to wash over where enemies might be looking to strike once the wall passes over them. If you notice the enemy team tends to be more passive, you can organize your team to flash through the water walls to make a play. Lastly, make sure you use your Cove ability to secure a safe plant for your teammate. If you feel as though there is no chance for them being killed via bullet spam, save this utility. You can use this to delay the enemy's retake, help save yourself or teammate from being cornered, or to maneuver around safely. The sky's the limit when it comes to how Harbor can work with his team. Just remember that your abilities are key, and if you're finishing multiple rounds with all your utility, you probably need to reevaluate your team play. Or maybe look to change the tempo or speed of the rounds to help match your playstyle. If the rounds are ending too quickly, try to use your fast cast of your wall to take control of a neutral area like mid, for example. Then, using the space you created, look to envelope a bombsite and send the opposition into a watery grave. And if you find yourself running low on time late into rounds, look to make fast-moving lightning rounds where you can use your Cascade and Cove combo to take space and secure a safe plant. To wrap up this video, I think it's safe to say that Harbor will be shaking up the meta on certain maps in the coming future. I love seeing these agents who don't really have a set category or a set playstyle. 
His kit is super exciting to see and might change the meta in some crazy ways. This wall seems like a must-have on bigger maps, and the Cove is going to have your team safer than ever. This cascade is ideal for lightning sight takes, and his ultimate is for sure going to have players caught in a riptide on smaller maps. That's what we have to say for Harbor for right now. As he gets more comfortable in the meta and pro play, we will keep you updated on changes made to him and how the best in the world are washing away their competition. If you want the latest and greatest Harbor and Valorant information, make sure to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video. If you're looking to improve fast this act, make sure to reach out to our coaches on ProGuides.com. This has been your host, Sergeant Frost, and good luck on the grind this act.